All right, here we are. After one year of work, 164 blocks of netherite. This may not look like much, but this was horrible to collect. Let's stop and rewind all the way to the beginning. So about a year ago, I saw an awesome video by a fellow content creator named Wadzi. In the video, he built a netherite beacon, being the first person to ever complete a netherite beacon in hardcore Minecraft. Young me thought, wow, it would be so cool if I made a netherite beacon too. Now when you think of mining netherite, what do you think of? Maybe getting a few pieces for some tools, maybe getting a block of netherite to flex on your friends. What about 5,904 pieces of ancient debris? Wait, what? Well, believe it or not, 5,904 pieces of ancient debris is how much you need to make an entire netherite beacon. You may be wondering, why do you need so much ancient debris for a small beacon? Let me explain. To make a complete beacon, you need 164 blocks of netherite. Each block of netherite can be crafted using 9 netherite ingots. This means you will need exactly 1,476 netherite ingot. To craft a single netherite ingot, you need 4 netherite scrap and 4 gold ingots, making a grand total of 5,904 gold ingots and 5,904 netherite scrap. That's quite a lot. I can't even stress to you how long this video took to make, so if you don't want me to go insane, I would really appreciate a subscription and maybe even a like while you're at it. Just like any massive project, we gotta get started. We're gonna get a lot of TNT to help us with finding the ancient debris, so that means we're gonna need some sand and gunpowder. Let's grab our shovel and head over to the desert. All right, here we are, let's get started. It's really nice to have a shovel that can instant mine all of this sand. It shouldn't take too long to get all that we need. Well, it's been a few minutes. I already got an entire shulker box full of sand. Now we're gonna go ahead and get the gunpowder and then we can get crafting. This is a small issue we got going on. I only have about five stacks of gunpowder saved up. I think the best option will be to make a gunpowder farm as that we're going to need quite a bit more to make the full netherite beacon. Let me try to find a design on YouTube that will work and then I'll get back to you guys once I do. All right, after searching for a few minutes, I already found this really neat design by Shulkercraft that produces a few thousand gunpowder an hour. Let's go ahead and get all the materials we need and then we're gonna get building. All right, we need some blocks, some redstone and some chests for storage. Here we are. Now I got all the materials and now I'm gonna follow the tutorial to build the farm. I'll let you guys know how it goes. After about two hours, I finished the gunpowder farm. Now it's time to AFK overnight in the AFK room and see what I get. Well, it's been about 10 hours. I'm really excited to see how much gunpowder we got. And wow, that's a lot more than I expected. Now all we need to do is craft our materials into TNT and then go to the nether. So I think if we mine down right here, this should work great. Now let's get to work. I've seen some strategies on the best way to use TNT, and I think what we're gonna be doing is the first mine a tunnel, and then place TNT every five blocks, and then to blow it up. All right, so now light the TNT. Ayo, there's our first piece. It's now been a few hours, and I just collected exactly 100 pieces of this stuff. If I get 100 pieces every day for two months, I think I'll finish the beacon. This shouldn't be too bad. Oh man. I had no idea. Well, it's now day two. I'm back at it. I'd like to collect another 100 pieces. I actually got lucky and checked one of my chests to find out that I had another four stacks of TNT just sitting there. So today we're gonna be using the rest of that up. Well, that's, oh no. Looks like a basalt deltas biome. The reason these biomes are bad is because our TNT does a lot less damage, which means we're also finding less ancient debris. I think the only thing to do about this is to go around the biome. And well now, after another few hours, I finally finished collecting the 100 more pieces. Awesome! We now got 200 pieces. Little did I know that at this point, I was only 3% done. I was still naive, only imagining the end goal not realizing how much work would be needed to get to the end. Well, it's now day three and I'm all out of TNT. I think we're gonna start off today by heading to the desert and to gather ourselves some more sand. All right, this time we're gonna gather a few shulkers of sand and I'll let you guys know how that goes. Okay, and after about 20 minutes, I've gathered a few shulkers of sand. Let's go ahead and craft some TNT. 
And now we got ourselves an entire shulker box full of TNT. This should last us for quite a while. We're back in the lower nether and I'm starting to think that maybe there's a faster method to doing this. If I place the TNT closer together, then the tunnel explodes larger and ends up exposing more ancient debris. I think this can be what we end up doing. The only issue with this new method of placing TNT closer is that we're now running out of TNT a lot faster. That entire shulker box collected earlier is almost empty. But nonetheless, I'm almost at 500 pieces after about 12 hours of total mining. And once again, we're out of TNT. Now, to gather the resources, it's really boring. I think the best solution for us to do is to make a sand farm. Something that can auto mine and collect all the sand for us. I spent a little while searching up a sand farm design on the internet. Finally, landing on a design by, you guessed it, Shulkercraft, it's time to get building. While we gather the resources, I'll explain to you how the farm works. Basically, you need to find a stronghold somewhere in your world, and then find an end portal. After this, follow the tutorial to build the farm. From here, the sand gets glitched into the end portal and appears in the end to get auto-collected. And here we go! We got an absolutely insane amount of sand. From here on out, I won't be talking much about collecting the TNT, because it's pretty boring, but do keep in mind that I'm collecting tons of TNT and putting a lot of work into it. And so now I had spent over an entire week on the project, and finally, after so much time, I had gotten 1,000 pieces of ancient debris. I'm kind of starting to think that maybe this project wasn't such a good idea. I've spent like 24 hours mining total, and I'm only one-sixth of the way finished. I don't think I can do this. I had hit a roadblock. Mining this much ancient debris was just too boring. I needed a break, I decided to pause the project, and so the days began to pass. The beacon sat where it was. The world progressed, new projects were started, but still I didn't have it in me to continue working on the netherite beacon. Until nearly 1000 days later, I had the realization that I would be one of the first people ever to finish the netherite beacon if I could finish it. So I got back to work with new motivation and new tactics. I figured that if I could speed up any part of the project, I could save myself a ton of time. Something that was a particular issue was the mining process. It was really bad whenever I'd run into lava pockets while mining the tunnels. I decided to cope with this issue and brew myself tons of fire resistance potions. Not only was this new method faster, but I also figured that it would be more efficient to mine the tunnels several hundred thousand blocks long and then to use TNT to blow up the entire tunnel and then to finally end by mining all the ancient debris. The faster method worked really well, but it was also really boring, just to be mining and placing TNT for hours. So in all that time, I decided to play a few games. Welcome to your weekly game show called How Much Ancient Debris Can I Mine in One Hour Without Boring Myself to Death? It's your host, Wumba, and we're here about to start the first round of How Much Ancient Debris Can I Mine in One Hour Without Boring Myself to Death? The goal of this game is to find how much an- I'm just kidding, guys. I'm not gonna make you listen to that massive title again. Timer starts now! Okay, I think the best method for this will be to start by mining a new tunnel. And get mining! Nice! Okay, the time is going well. Alright, now we're here at the end of the tunnel, and it's time to start placing TNT. Oh dear, guys, we only have 22 minutes left, and I haven't even started collecting the ancient debris. Yes! I think I see the end of the tunnel! It looks like we're gonna make it! And with this block, let's call time! Not too bad, we got 84 pieces in a single hour. If we need 4,800 more pieces, and we stick to this rate, it's only gonna take 57 more hours. At this point, I've spent over 40 hours mining and got a grand total of 1700 pieces. Our old method was once again getting boring, so I tested a few more methods, finally landing on the every block TNT method. The tunnel that was exposed by doing this was absolutely massive, which was perfect for optimizing the speed of this beacon project. I also began to notice that when I was mining, there would be times that I'd completely overlook some ancient debris and just skip it. I eventually decided to download a texture pack to outline ancient debris and make it more noticeable so this wouldn't happen. With these new methods in place, I wanted to play another game. I wanted to see how much ancient debris I could get in an entire day. I'm starting this grind at 3 p.m. in the afternoon. I'll let you guys know how much I get.
Well, it's 8 p.m. at night and I am completely pooped. I need to stop now. But I got myself a total of 444 pieces. Not bad. But now, we got a grand total of 2,300 pieces. That's a little over one third of the way finished. Oh my gosh, guys, I am really tired of mining ancient debris. I need another break. Actually, I know it would be perfect. The original gunpowder farm is really slow now. It just doesn't produce gunpowder fast enough to keep up with my needs. I think it's time to build another one. Well, back to the internet. After a little while longer, I finally found another really cool design that's going to be extremely fast by, once again, Shulkercraft. Dang, I just can't get away from these guys. We're going to build the farm over the ocean because creepers will spawn at a much faster rate here. Let's go ahead and get right to it. It's finished. Time to AFK overnight and see how much gunpowder we get. It's once again the morning, and I am really excited to see how much we got. In three, two, one. Oh gosh, w wow, wait. That's a lot more for one night than I would have guessed. I guess it's time to get into crafting the TNT. And yep, we're back into the mines with the overpowering urge to finish the project. Even though I was motivated the entire way, the only thing that made this possible was the fact that most of the time I was listening to streams or talking to friends. And after so much work, I mined the block that put me over halfway done. It had taken over 7 months and 80 hours to get to this point. The funny thing about the entire project is how repetitive the entire process was. I don't just mean the mining, but I also mean my mindset. I kept getting bored and depressed, wondering if all my time would ever be seen and appreciated. Sadly, by thinking like this, I began to regret even starting the project. The feeling that it was just too much work. So I once again stopped for a long time. It was at this point that the amazing viewers of the channel told me not to give up. I wasn't sure if I could continue, but the constant pressure and the encouragement from everyone eventually won me over. And I decided that I would work non-stop until I finished. It was also at this point that I had made the epic jungle temple build on my world. Someone suggested that I should put the netherite beacon on top of it. I flew to the lower nether searching for an area that I could mine in, and then I started the tunnels. I was getting close to an entire double chest of ancient debris. It was pretty amazing. I needed 2600 more, and I found that if I mined 200 a day, I could be done with the project forever in less than two weeks. I spent nearly 15 hours in a single week mining as much ancient debris as I possibly could. After a few more hours, I looked at my grand total, realizing I only needed 600 more pieces. I knew the perfect thing I would do. I would play one more game. I would attempt to beat my previous record of the most ancient debris mined in a single day. Starting at 2 p.m. in the afternoon, I began mining one single tunnel, covering over 10,000 blocks. It took me about two hours alone just to mine the tunnel straight. Then I began placing all of the TNT. This took me another two hours. Finally, with a tunnel full of ancient debris, I began running down it and mining all the ancient debris I could find. Ending at 8 p.m. at night, I had collected 529 pieces. But now, all we needed were 71 more pieces of ancient debris to finish the project once and for all. The final day was here, 71 more pieces of ancient debris were needed. After nearly 11 months and 200 hours of work, I saw the end in sight, and then down to the final 10 pieces. It felt unreal. I had mined all of the ancient debris. It was done. It was over. Well, actually, no it wasn't. Remember all the way back to the beginning when I told you the things we needed? Well, we needed 5,904 gold ingots. You see, this was a problem because I didn't have any gold. Fortunately, I had previously built an insane gold farm by, holy guac, Shulkercraft. Bruh. After an overnight session at this farm, I had 5,904 gold ingots and it was time. The only thing left in the project was to build the beacon. First, I started off by grabbing tons of blast furnaces, and then I cooked all of the ancient debris. Finally, I grabbed the gold and began crafting. This was the peak of the entire journey. All of my time and energy built to this point. Time to place the blocks. The beacon was done. A netherite beacon 
is more than just a stack of blocks. It's a symbol of dedication and willpower. This was the hardest thing I had ever done in Minecraft. Well guys, thank you so much for watching this. I do hope you enjoyed because I definitely did. It would mean so much to me if you hit the like and press subscribe because I literally spent 250 hours in 11 months making this video. Good luck to everyone and I can't wait to see you guys next time.